But I'm here with Brian, who has been a season seat holder since day one, which is incredible. <laughs> Brian, I'm going to give you the mic here. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad to be here. I have a historical perspective here to offer, which is that we never did stuff like this for 19 years of us holding season seats. I mean, this, this kind of an event never happened. It should have happened. You should have been more connected with the fans. Than you. So it's great that you're doing it at all, and it's great that you're taking it seriously because we didn't have that feeling for far too long. Um, I'm also hoping that the organization is going to uh, be stronger in terms of truly being able to convince free agents to come here and stay here, which you've already touched upon, but it's so important. Uh, the, this, you're right, you have to build a team through the draft, but you can't succeed without free agents and plugging in holes. How do you plan to do that? How do you plan to make these people come here and stay here? Uh, first of all, thank you for hanging in there with us. Uh, 17 years is a long time. Uh, and by the way, we didn't deserve it. I can tell you flat out, I know, and, and I, I, I catch a lot of grief because people say I'm too honest about our assessment. But I don't think we could get great until we acknowledge what we don't do well. And I think one of the things we had to do in this organization is just finally come to terms with the fact we have not done as well as we should by you and by the NBA. So let's start there. I don't want to dwell on it. I don't want to blame anybody. I don't want to get caught up in our mistakes. I don't want to ultimately use it as excuses going forward. But I think we will do better if we acknowledge we haven't been great yet. I think we'll do unbelievable if we acknowledge we haven't been great, but we do want to be great and we're willing to take whatever time and energy it's going to require to get there. So this is the beginning of a new era. I promise you, we're not going anywhere. We are going to start talking to you in these formats. We're going to give back to you. We're going to respect your business. We're going to absolutely respect your opinion. We are going to work hard at keeping your support and earning the new support we got to earn. And we're going to use that same intensity to give the environment to Masai and to the coach and this team so that players want to stay here, players want to be drafted here, and players want to come here as free agents. We've made no, you know, we, we have been very busy in the past month looking at locations for a training center. We're going to do everything we got to do to get a state-of-the-art, world-class training center, best in class, so that the players look at that just like we have for the Leafs, just like we have for TFC. The Raptors, their fans, and our players deserve a world-class training center, so we're going to get that done. We, we have owners, and Bell and Rogers and Larry Tannenbaum, that want to win. They truly want to win. No matter what the media may say, our owners are committed to winning. They'd be in the, the luxury tax right now. And what we've told them is, keep your powder dry, and by the way, we're coming. We have owners that are prepared to spend the money necessary to win. We have a president and a GM that has the vision and the knowledge to make that happen. And the thing I promised Masai and his staff, and the thing we promise all of you, this is not a sales vehicle. This is not a marketing gimmick. From now on out, this is the relationship and the passion we have to your franchise. We promise. And thank you again. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of everyone in here, I really want to thank you, Tim, for uh, giving us some of your time and opening up your mind to us and letting us know what your plans are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you all. See you during the season.